On this beautiful morning of day five, we greeted the day with anticipation, ready to soak in the picturesque views from the deck. The highlight of this sailing day was an encounter with the magnificent Hubbard Glacier, a grand spectacle that unfolded during early lunchtime. This glacier, the largest tidewater glacier in North America, stands out for its unique behavior. While most glaciers tend to thin and retreat, Hubbard Glacier bucks the trend by steadily thickening and actively advancing towards the Gulf of Alaska, earning its affectionate nickname, Galloping Glacier. Did you know that Hubbard Glacier is known for its mesmerizing displays of calving, where large chunks of ice breaks off and plunge into the sea with thunderous splashes? It would have been a breathtaking sight to behold. Yeah, glacier outfits, right? Uh, leggings. Today. Which way are you going? Oh, inside. Never sat on the inside of the restaurant. So, sitting. Oh, <laughs> uh, I am about to. That's why I also don't like painting <laughs> pink But tomorrow, I guess we have to kind of go and get. I'm gonna try some of your grilled cheese. <clears throat> the lamb shepherd's pie and the uh, milk cheese, show panna cotta. Oh, they're coming down the aisle. As this easygoing day drew to a close, we embraced the elegance of a formal evening dinner, an opportunity for everyone to dress their best again. This followed by a headliner showtime featuring vocalist Brian Cheatham, a beloved contestant from season three of America's Got Talent. Are y'all ready to party with us tonight? Came home to a frog with my sunglasses as their eyes. That's cool.
Last night at the conclusion of the show, the cruise director had tantalized us with a promise of a potential whale sighting around 9 a.m. as we approached Ketchikan. Miraculously, just before the clock struck 9, the whales graced us with their presence. Though, regrettably, I and most of us miss this fleeting spectacle. On this penultimate day of our journey, we were set to arrive at the port of Ketchikan by mid-afternoon. This timing allowed us the pleasure of indulging in a leisurely fine dining lunch before venturing into town. We are in Ketchikan. 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 This is my favorite niece and actress, up and coming actress, Emma. And you are? Madden. Like in every every place. <laughs> so everyone's checking out this bubble tea stand, which is called Lily's Bubbles. There's a lot of little jewelry stores and um, <laughs> diamond stores. It's a really cute little town here. And you guys see the clouds over there? It's so cool, right? It tastes like coconut. Does it taste as good as Vancouver? Yep. Bubble tea? Me? Good. Like, yeah, I like cocos better, but whatever. Yeah? How do you like yours? It looks like they like it anyway. <laughs> That's cold. Yeah. Ketchikan, renowned as the world's canned salmon capital, thrives as a hub for fishing and outdoor enthusiasts. Its streets and parks are adorned with vibrant hand-carved totem poles, showcasing the town's rich indigenous heritage. For those seeking an intimate rendezvous with nature, the Tungas Natural Forest beckons, as does the captivating Ketchikan Creek waterfall, offering breathtaking views of downtown. Did you know that Ketchikan boasts the world's largest collection of standing totem poles with numerous examples on display throughout the city? We opted for a relaxed day of town exploration and souvenir hunting. The day began with overcast skies later gracing us with characteristic Alaskan rain showers, a hallmark of summer in this rugged terrain. My trusty Chanel boots prove invaluable during this trip, and Alaska scenery and weather bears a striking resemblance to the picturesque seasons of Vancouver's spring and fall.
men and salmon came upstream to swim. <laughs> Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think they're trying to go upstream, but then they can't. Yeah. Wow. But it actually says something here about salmon. And the subway. And the garbage cans are they all have different labels on it and heading back to the cruise ship bought these in Ketchikan which is the canned salmon capital of the world Fun, huh? It wasn't me who bought it, but I just wanted to show you guys how cool it is as a souvenir. And this is a clutch size, which is super cute as well. The one that, Going was, up. The one that was talking to me. By the way, isn't this dress that I wore for dinner so beautiful? It is so comfortable. I can eat in it and I love it so much. I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Finally, we concluded our evening with yet another captivating performance by the talented Royal Caribbean singers and musicians. Stay tuned for the final vlog of Alaska. I also linked the playlist down below and the previous episode. See you in the next one.